Hey guys, David here with Sheepdog Services. Tonight I'm gonna try to finish up this wall caddy I started. Uh, if you haven't seen the first video where I put the wall, the framing together basically, I'm gonna link a, a card up here to it so you can go straight to it and watch that if you like. So tonight I'm gonna cut this board down, add me a couple of shelving shelves in here. I'm still not 100% sure exactly how I want it done, but I'm gonna figure it out as I go. I know I want one shelf going all the way across, and I think on one side I'm gonna have you know two two good shelves. And then a, a real tall one up here on one side over here, so I can put maybe some boots or something like that up there. And then a, maybe one in the mid, a little compartment in the middle to, to maybe put a lock box, so I can put uh, stuff I don't want anybody to get to in it. All right, I did get some uh, more hardware down here. I'll show you that in a little bit. I got another one by ten. I think this is a one by ten by ten. I got just so I can have plenty of wood for the shelving. It doesn't matter how long you look through the through the racks there at the store for a perfect piece of wood, you're never gonna find it. I always seem to find the one that was cut on a Friday at 4:30. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the edges off just so I can have a good clean square edge to work with. Measure out my middle, and I'm gonna cut that, and then I'm gonna get back with you in just a second. Okay, I may even put it in time lapse. I'm not sure. the inside and I got 46 and a quarter just remember whenever you do mark off 46 and a quarter and you draw your line you need to know if you need to leave the line or if you need to take the line what I mean by that is whenever you set your saw up your blades either going to cut the line completely out and that's gonna be the 46 and a quarter or either you're gonna leave the line and everything path right to the past of that line is gonna be 46 and a quarter on this one here I'm gonna take the line all right so let me get that cut and We'll move on from that too. All right, so I cut it 46 and a quarter. I took the line because it was uh, marking right there where it needed to be cut. So, and it fits just perfect. It's nice and snug. It's not too hard to get down in here, just right. All right, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna end up using some uh, pocket hole screws or pocket holes to attach this just like I did the, the sides. But uh, I'm not gonna put them in just yet. I'm gonna, I'm possibly gonna just look at this real quick and just try to figure out exactly how I want it done. Now that I got this piece up here, I'm not sure, like, let me look in the camera and see if you can see that. See, see it very well so you can understand what I'm talking about. All right? Yeah, yeah, you can see that, good deal. All right, so as you see this right here, I got this little scrap piece from last night left over. And if you can imagine, maybe having this here is a wide open, about right here, just a wide open area. And then maybe, yeah, maybe cutting it right here, having a shelf here, and then having a long shelf right here. I understand you probably don't, you probably ain't picturing what I'm thinking right now, but that's, uh, Guys, so I got this uh, pocket hole screwed in. I've made sure that I've got it squared up and everything's level. I did that by measure from the from the bottom down here to the bottom down here. I know these edges are squared off, so I measured here to here, and then I measured here to here. And they're exactly the same on both sides, so I know they're square. Just to make sure, if you got a square, simply throw it in there. There's no space in between any of them. So, you know, you're, you, you know it's good and square, and your stuff ain't gonna be rolling off of it. So it's always good, always good to make sure before you move on. 
because you know you don't want to be all the way through the through the project and almost done ready to hang it up and you know you throw your pins up there and they start rolling back at you or rolling from one side to the other you know that'd be that would be very aggravating all right now i meant to do this earlier on on the camera but my phone died i did measure from here to here i think it was a 16 and an eighth yeah, 16 and 8. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna do 16 and 8 here. And I'm gonna probably have about, I don't know, about a, probably about a foot, foot and a half, I think. Yeah. About a foot and a half. And uh, that's how far I'm gonna have this one cubby right here. That way I can put my boots up here and they get off the ground. My son loves to crawl around on the ground. He, he, for some reason, he likes to go for my boots. He's trying to chew on them, but we always get him to before he does. Um, so I'm going, I'm going to do it about a foot and a half over here and I'm going to have one long board going all the way here for a shelf right here and then I'm, that's going to be another cubby right here and right here in the middle is going to be a cubby where I'm going to put that lock box. Alright. Alright, so if any of y'all noticed the last part of the video, the shelf had a little bit of room in between it, and well, that bugged me. I figured out what I've done wrong. It's, earlier in the video, I told y'all when you make your line, you need to pay attention whether or not you need to take the line or leave the line. Well, I didn't pay attention and I took the line, I should have left it. So now I, I went ahead and recut this off camera. So now you can see it's a perfect fit. There we go. All I gotta do is measure it out and put my pocket hole screws in. Excuse me. So I'm gonna put it at exactly 18 inches from the outside, not, not in, uh, the interior or the inside. Well, and then on the sides, we have these little 8-inch bars, and they may actually be too long for what I, well, no, I think that's going to be about right. Yeah, my best straps come right there, so that'd be perfect. I do need to give me some end caps, so it makes it look a little bit better. I'm going to put this about right there, and then my vest is going to hang on it. I don't know if I really like these, but the wife pointed them out to me, so you never say no to the wife, right? So, this 
little hooks. I may, may put them right here. Nah, I think I'm gonna put them right here. That way I can put my flashlight on the side. And that's gonna be about it. I thought I was gonna do some, some uh, decorative stuff back here, but I think I'm gonna just uh, put the torch to it and do the burn technique on the wood. But I, I like that as well. I do need to get some wood filler put in here. And guys, this is just a basic, not a how-to, but this is the way I've done it. And it should be, if any of you are wanting one or are deciding to make one, hey, get out there and do it. It took me, it took me two uh, one by 10 by 10 foot. That's what I've done. That's what I got that with. And this is my leftovers, all right? This would have been perfect because I could have I could have put one right there, oh, put one right there, and then I could have made a door, or you know, however I wanted to do it. That's, that's a little bit over 10 inches, so. But, or you can put them together, you could have put pocket holes to them, square the edges off, and then make one big door right there. You know, whichever way you wanted to do it. But like I said, I had that, that wood burning that I done a while back that I'm gonna put right here, so. That's it, man. I, I really appreciate y'all watching. If you enjoyed the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the uh, bell notification so that anytime I have more content come out, you'll be notified. All right? You got any questions, comments, concerns, or if you want to you want to put something in the comments section below telling me how I didn't do something right, hey, I'll listen to it and I'll try to try it that way next time. All right? You have a good one. Take care.